Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me for our November 2019 tarot reading. And this will be for the sign of Gemini. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message and each share with my viewers the highest good of all. At the beginning of the month, I'm going to take a card from the top. And the middle of the month, I'll take a card from the center. And the end of the month, the card from the bottom. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the Three of Wands, okay? You're looking out over this village. It looks like you're standing on top of a mountaintop and you're surrounded by these three wands. And so you're looking out, okay, up above, looking down below at everything that is in front of you. So the energy of the beginning of this month is going to be some type of a maybe moving forward with a project, a creative idea, okay? And this card is also telling you that you're moving in the right direction. And I love the fact that there's an angel up here watching over this person. Uh, so whatever it is, I'm feeling that you're going to be blessed by the universe in order for you to be able to move forward and that you're making some type of initial progress here in the beginning of the month on something, you're going to be going places, okay? You have a, a vision of, you know, what you want your future to be, you know, where you've been, where you want to go, gathering all of the wisdom and all of the life experiences that you've had so far, Gemini, and you want to put them into action, okay? It's, you know, it's, you need to still plan, okay? We're, we're nowhere near <laughs> done with the journey. This is basically just the beginning stages, okay? But it's telling you that you're heading in the light, right direction. And like I said, this angel up here makes me feel like you have blessings from the heaven as well, uh, protecting you and, and shining down upon you during this time. And then in the middle of the month, yeah, something is taking off. The aces are the beginning of something, and the aces are usually something creative, Okay, something that you feel very passionate about. And in the middle of the month, you have like all of this energy, this this red color here really strikes strikes me as being like courageous, you know, going after something you want. This may signify for some of you a new job or an exciting idea, something that's at the beginning stages here, the initial stages that you're looking out into the future with. You're actually putting it into action here. Okay, and again, this is, you know, a blessing from the universe, whatever this is in the middle of the month that you're going after. And it could possibly be something to do with your life purpose, okay, or creating a new life for yourself. This person here isn't going to be standing on this, this cliff looking down over the city, you know, for very long because it looks like the energy picks up in the middle of the month, okay, where you're going after what you want, okay, and, and you know that, you know, maybe you're breaking away and creating an entirely new life, okay, with with this excitement and this exciting creative energy in the middle of the month. Some type of a transition is taking place here. You're not satisfied with what's been going on. You're going after what you want. And then at the end of the month, we have the emperor. And this could signify some type of an authority figure in your life. This could signify a boss for some of you that are employed out there. It could be a, a boss or some type of... Uh, how could I say, an, an authority figure, someone that maybe you uh, are watched over by. Uh, this could be the personality, the type of energy that you're going to be taking on at the end of the month. The emperor is a very stable person. This also could symbolize having the need for some type of stability in your life at the end of the month, because this creative energy could just really take us by storm. I mean, I know whenever I start a creative project or I have an idea in my mind, I mean, I just let it take over me. <laughs> I'll, I'll work endlessly to exhaustion, which is not a good thing. So you might need to get some stability back in your life and some balance, but you might need to be making some decisions at the end of the month with a calm head because the emperor is a very calm person. He does not act on emotion. Okay. He bases his decisions on facts. So you may need to check on the facts before you decide about something to maybe going forward with this creative thing here. Okay. This could also signify some financial stability at the end of the month. 
or some great progress that, you know, in such a short time that you're already showing progress by the end of the month for whatever it is that you're going after. Uh, but you, you cannot allow yourself to be influenced by your emotions whatsoever at the end of the month, because if there's some serious decisions that need to be made, you need to think them out carefully. Okay. And, you know, base them on facts, not emotions. Wow. Wonderful, wonderful month for you. Definitely a month of moving forward and, and finally getting somewhere. If you've enjoyed this reading, please hit the like button, share it, and of course, subscribe because I will be back with more readings.